Hi there and welcome back. So this is a follow-up video to the outline video you may have just watched. And it assumes that you have gone into the generic speech outline and you have created a topical or chronological formatted outline for your beautiful media presentation. So now that you have that outline, the next question becomes, what do I do with it in order to make my slide deck for my PowerPoint or keynote presentation? If I were you, what I would do is I would print out that outline. One, so I could practice with it in a mobile fashion, but two, I'd like to show you something called storyboarding. If you're not from ad, PR, marketing, communication, and you've never heard of this, storyboarding is the idea of adding visual elements to your written word. So let's say you have your outline here. Storyboarding then takes you through the outline and asks you the question, what slide will I use and when to support and represent the material that I need to convey? So if you look at the outline from the first video, which was about going to graduate school for free, you'll notice that it starts with a story about my buddy's girlfriend telling me how she got an English master's degree for free. So on the left side here, what I would do is I would go ahead and I would write off to the left side, pick of cams at U of I. And I would just lead off with a picture of the bar called cams at the University of Illinois. Thinking about graduate school and going for free, yeah, I'm gonna leave that slide blank. And then the next one, today we're gonna to talk about how you can be a GA, a TA, an RA, teach English in another country, or join the US military or Peace Corps. I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna have a slide that brings up the words GA, TA and RA. And I'm gonna use those click-throughs that were on the video from last night. And then for a transition slide, I'm gonna go blank. And in fact, you know what? I'm gonna make the executive decision that every time I transition from one point to the next, I'm going to use what's called a blank transition slide. You might choose to use the cheat slides from yesterday's video, and that's fine too. But at least what you're doing now is you're starting to build out a shell of what type of PowerPoint presentation you need. Now, for your first point here in the body where you're talking about GAs and what they are, I don't think I would use a whole bunch of text. Instead, what I would do is I'd talk about GA, and I would use a definition slide like you see when you go to Wikipedia or Google and it says, um, what does uh, roadblock mean? And then it says it's a noun and it means you can't get by. Well, here for GA, I would put what it is and where you get it. And then for TA, I would do a slide that says what it is and how and where you get it. And for RA, I would put what it is and where, it is and where and how you get it, and so on and so forth. And so I'm not going to walk you through this whole thing because it, you can catch on pretty quickly. But what we've done here is we've created a visual representation of what type of slides that you'll need to harvest or create in order to make the deck that goes with your beautiful media presentation. Look right off the bat, you know you need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight slides, and you know that a couple of them are going to be blank. You know that you'll have to define and give credit to what GA, TA, and RA is, which you'll probably find on a major university's website. And then you have to go into your iPhone and find that picture of you and your buddy's girlfriend. And then you have to create in PowerPoint, Keynote, Prezi, or any other program this slide here with what GATA and RA is during your preview. So real quickly, you can get to 20 slides, but they'll go fast as you're clicking through them while you're making your presentation. This, my friends, is designed to save you time. If you have never been shown how to do a storyboard before, hopefully now, this can save you time in any other situation that you have before you. My fear is that in some of your classes, whether it's a group presentation or solo, you sit at a blank PowerPoint program and you go, okay, what's my first slide going to be? And then you stare at it and you do some shitty title slide. And then from there you go, this speech will be about graduate school. And then you go and you screen grab a picture of the University of Tampa where most people you know, don't even think about right off the bat for graduate school and we don't have, um, many TA and RA and GA positions, so that wouldn't even be accurate. This will save you time because what it will do is it will give you a plan of what you need to go and find in order to make your PowerPoint presentation. So what we've done today is we've taken the outline that you've previously created, previously created. 
We've printed it out on real paper. You may have to run to Walmart, they're open until 8.30 and buy a printer. Then what you do is you actually physically write out what you need in order to make the slide deck. If you do it in the opposite uh, order, you've been using a lot of extra time that you don't need to use. You could also do this in Microsoft Word. You could simply type out to the side, maybe in red, what sort of slides you need. That's all for now. This was called storyboarding. It's step two in how to get going in your beautiful media presentation. I hope you find it useful and helpful and you have a great week. More later. Bye.